Hubba, hubba, hubba. I'm in a park and I'm a long way from home, but I'm in Sydney. Uh, this park is sort of, well, let's just say very close to the middle of Sydney, the best way I could describe it. And I bet you I can find a redback spider nest in this zone here. Let me take a look around. Let's look at that park bench over there. Roger, Dodger, we're up nice and close to the park bench now. Do you think that would be a nice, safe place to have your children around while you're here? Hmm, I can see some dangly web there. You know what that means? Okay, all this seat. Hmm, it's metal. It'd be nice temperature, I can tell you. Oh, there's like a PJ mask toy there. Whether that's real or fake, I think it's a little bit broken. I don't know it, I don't care. But I'm thinking what's going on underneath here is going to become very, very interesting. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. I'm now laying underneath this chair and I'm looking like a hobo in the park and if I bring my camera along here and I concentrate my view into this area here, oh my crikey Charlies, that looks like a redback spider nest to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a stick and oh crikeys, I can feel the web there, it's quite strong. Let's just see if I dig this out. Who's going to come flying out at me? I think there's a way for the spider to get into that metal there. There's holes. Oh my crikeys. It is looking spiderific. That's definitely a redback spider nest. It is late in the spider season, so um, goodness knows what those eggs have been doing. Okay, let's try and get some of this stuff down to the ground. Okay, that's a redback spider there. They'll ball up if they feel threatened. Okay, it's opened up its legs there. Sorry, little girl, it's time to go away. Whoa, actually, it's got away. Oh, we'll let that one live, hey? Let me just do some more digging here, this stick. I don't know what is going to come out of here. There's a lot of spiderific stuff, I can tell you. Whoa! Actually, I got off the ground just in case a spider comes dropping and runs. Man, oh, there's another one. Yes, I can see another red back there. It's climbing back up. No, you don't, Jerry. You're coming back down with me. Come with me, little mama. Oh, this is fantastic, I can tell you. Just look at the amount of web there. There's stacks of egg sacs there. I think most of the egg sacs have opened up. We're late in the spider season as I'm shooting this. Uh, that red back is in there. It's one that's presenting quite brown. So yes, you can get variations. Ah, oh, there's one running for me! Ah, oh, there's a little girl here running for me. There she is there. Hang on a second, I just got to get rid of this. That's the problem when you're on the ground here. Just get my stick back. Oh. Oh, mate, they're everywhere. I'm going to have to get out of here, actually. They're, these spiders got rid of that one. That's the danger here. Now I've got... Oh, the ants are starting to kick in. Okay, there's that girl over there. Crikey, that got out of control there for a second. I'm just going to try and get this spider back. Oh, it's trying to get away from me. It's over there somewhere. That got uh, out of control. That other red back has gone to ground here somewhere, and I cannot see. It's like... It's quite a brown one. It was a great example of ones which aren't black. I can't see it. Oh, I'm definitely not getting on the ground now. There's a bit more of the nest here. The man is quite extensive. I'll just get that down onto the deck so we'll take a look at it. Well, I think that was three spiders that I saw from this nesty area. They're not, I wouldn't classify them as very large redbacks. Let me just get this out and we'll try and count up some egg sacs of what's going on in there. If you've got very keen eyes, just climbing up there and I'll try and zoom in on it. There is a redback spiderling. There it's going up there. I hope I'm getting it. It's getting up to... Yeah, I hope that's seeing it. There's a red back spiderling and I'll zoom in on it. It's right in the middle of the screen. The moment it's keeping still and if I get the stick, I might be able to raz it up and get it to move. Oh, there it's taken off. Going off like all fury. In fact, there's another one just here about to climb my stick. Go that way. I'd say there's, be, there's going to be plenty of spiderlings uh, caught up in this here. I was going to try and count the XX. Maybe you can just do a rough count there uh, without me getting too engaged with that nest. Just taking a closer look at this nest here, it is just amazing. I'd say this would be a couple of generations old. It's quite established. This isn't something that happened overnight. There's all sorts of bugs and critters. There's redback spider egg sacs in this. Uh, the black beetles that, like I see at my place, are here. And also a lot of foliage and things that the redbacks use to basically disguise their nest. It is actually quite amazing to look at. Uh, very hard for me to see if we're seeing little spiderlings and stuff there. I think most of the egg sacs here have been opened up. I can tell by their colour. And remember the scary redback spider maths is that oh, you would have had, 
you know, umpteen thousands of redback spiders generated just from this uh, this nest here. It'd be happening very, very easily. Actually, I can see, yes, I can see baby redbacks here. They're now coming out. They've been in that nest. They've probably been a bit scared and they're thinking, why are we on the ground? And I think what's going to happen here is the ants are going to become quite aware of this and it's going to be, well, a battle between the ants and the redback spiders which are residing in this area here. Actually, I'll just get that little car. It's like the size of a matchbox car, maybe a little bit wider, and I'll give you some sort of scale for the side of that nest. If I put that little toy there, because I'm certainly not putting my hand next to that there, maybe you get some idea of just what was going on there. Quite amazing. I'm just noticing the ant activity here is starting to really amplify, so the message would be out that there's a fantastic feed available for the ants if they get into that redback spider nest right there. Yes, the more I look at that there, the more red backs I see uh, poking out of that. It's one of those things I think you're going to find there's going to be plenty of red backs hidden in amongst the nest. Ah yes, that's what I found underneath just one side of a park bench in the middle of Sydney. And it's going to make you always second guess sitting on any park bench that's located in Australia, isn't it? As I've so often said, Australia is not for everyone. And you know what, it's the same story over the other side of this park bench, but hey, let's leave that for another video. <coughs> ah yes, just another fun day playing in the park in Sydney, Australia. I'm just going to zoom in uh, via Google Maps and I'll show you where this part of town is. It's a long, long way from where I live in Sydney. And it's a curious place because it is sort of in the middle of Sydney. Now what is also a bit curious is this area would have a lot of new Australians living in the zone and they probably wouldn't even know what was going on underneath that park bench. The park is called Wetherill Park Nature Reserve and like so many parks in Sydney what I see going on is the man-made equipment that's put into the park is often a haven for redback spiders. As I've seen over and over, the Australian redback spider is a very adaptive, very opportunistic spider. It will turn the things that we make into its home, and that park bench, if it had one change made to the design, and that is fill in the area where I found the spider nest, well then that's an area where they can't reside. I think nearly everyone who watches this video would be astonished with what I found at that park bench, which is right in the middle of Sydney. But a sad fact is I could probably go to hundreds more park benches throughout Sydney and potentially find exactly the same thing. And I'll say it one last time. Australia is not for everyone. Unless you like spideys. <laughs> Up the end of the video here, I should put a sincere apology to Tourism Australia. They spend a lot of money enticing people to come and have a wonderful holiday in Australia. Yet one of my silly videos about redback spiders can uncouple much of their efforts. I have seen comments on my redback spider videos, people saying there are no redback spiders in Tasmania. That's an island right down the bottom of Australia. Unfortunately, there are redback spiders down there as well, but maybe you'll find less of them. So please don't strike Australia off your bucket list of wonderful places to go. Just be very aware that if you sit on a park bench in Australia, you're potentially sitting on a deadly spider nest. Now where else in the world can you have a wonderful experience like that?